everyone. Okay, so St. Patrick's Day is still right around the corner. And I thought I would do another look for you guys. My other look is very green. Very, very green. And if you don't want to go that green or if you work somewhere where you can't really go that far with the green and still uh, be regarded correctly, like if that's too out there for you, here's a natural green look that you can wear almost anywhere. You could wear it to the office and you would still have green on and it would still make your brown eyes pop if you have brown eyes or any other eyes would look amazing. And you can you can tone it down so it will be natural. I'm going to be taking my 88 warm palette as you can see here and I'm going to be taking um, my flat shader brush flat shader brush and I will be taking this color right there. It's it is C six. It is C six. It's a little shimmery color. It's like a sage and it's not that encumbering of a grain to where, oh my goodness, I have a tree on my eyes. So <laughs> you're going to you're going to take that onto your shader brush. I've already applied my um, my Urban Decay Primer Potion to both of my eyelids and you're gonna just put that on your lid. It's a very sheer shimmery color so you might want to put a little bit more onto your brush and swoop it across your eye. You're gonna want to tap off any excess because if you don't what you're gonna get is you're gonna either get a plume of eyeshadow when you start rubbing it into your eye and you'll get a lot of fallout on your cheeks and then you'll have green cheeks. You'll have a green blush. <laughs> okay, so I'm what I'm doing right now is I'm just evening out, evening out the color on both of my eyelids. If the color on both of your eyelids aren't isn't evened out, it'll look like you have a different shade of the same color on your eyes and then it won't look as coordinated. It will it will look like you did it really really quickly and that you didn't have enough time or didn't care to take enough time with your eyes. Okay, so after I've taken that color, I'm going to take a slight dark, a slightly darker color, and it's going to be C9. It's this color right here. It's a brown. It's ooh, that fell out again. I tried gluing these, and they don't. It didn't glue very well. My other, my Coastal Sense palette, the colored one didn't have any of these falling out but this one has them falling out all over the place and it really annoys with me anyways we're gonna be taking that brown it's like a it's just like a true brown and we're gonna be putting that on our dome shader brush and we're just gonna tap off the excess and I know my camera can't pick that up but there's plumes of eyeshadow coming off and you're just gonna put it in your crease and you're going to work it into your crease and you're going to get all the way to the corner of your eye right here and I just do windshield wiper motions through my eye. You can do the circle motions if you want I just find that the windshield wiper motions don't hurt my eyelid as much as the other one do uh, does so now I'm going to do the other side oh I didn't put enough tap off any excess and you'll know that there's excess on all of your brushes once you wipe it into the eyeshadow uh, because it just doesn't stick to your brush as well and you don't want that because that extra will not stick onto your eyelid and will go everywhere else it's not supposed to be going okay I need a tiny bit more on this side constantly check to make sure that both of your eyes are very similar because if they aren't similar then you're gonna have crooked eyes if one, I'll tell you right now, if one of your eyes has a wider shade of like the crease color and then this one doesn't, this one will look bigger and this one will look stunted and smaller and it will look like you have two different sized eyes and it's not going to look very well. Okay, so now that I have my crease color in and it's blended with that shimmery green, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take D4, which is this very, very light shimmery green if you guys ooh, if you guys can see that 
And another one falls out. Another one. I hate this one. I don't know why they couldn't have glued them in better. Anyways, so we're gonna just take that on the tip of the on the flat side of our of the other side of our shader brush, and you're just gonna put that in the inner corner of your eye, and you're gonna blend it out. What putting a uh, color in your inner corner does is open up your eyes so that they look larger than they are. And since I have brown eyes, it's going to pop and make my brown eyes pop along with um, making my eyes look bigger because brown and green are complementary. So here is the finished look. You can also want to put your eyeliner and your mascara on. I sort of did it backwards. I already had my eyeliner and mascara on from earlier so <laughs> uh, you're going to want to put that on now usually I don't go backwards but I didn't feel like wasting more of my product so that I could show you and I'm pretty sure all of you know how to put mascara and eyeliner on make sure that you put it on your waterline and on your, ti uh, your tight line which is the inner um, upper lid line so that it looks like your eyelashes are fuller without needing to put that extra liner on the top of your eyes. If you feel like it, you can put that extra liner on top of your eyes, but I don't like doing that. Anyways, this is the finished look. It's a brown, shimmery, pale green that you can wear to work and or to the office and no one will really mind. So, I hope you guys are all going to have a great pa St. Patrick's Day. Do you guys punch or pinch when someone isn't wearing green? Comment below and tell me. And please subscribe. Thanks. Bye.